Hey guys, it's Adam from BrassBasement.com. Uh, I wanted to do a special video today. It's Saturday, so I figured let, let's open something that is mine. Something that it's not intended for anybody else. It never was. It's for me. So here it is. An MDT flat car. MDT, if you don't know what that stands for, it's Merchant's Dispatch. Uh, it was a company established in the 1850s by American Express. Yes, the same American Express uh, that has the uh, Amex card. Uh, so, this car is super cool. It's one of my favorites. I've never opened this. Uh, I'm a big fan of milk cars. I think they're just cool. I used to drink a lot of milk as a kid, and I just think they're cool. Um, so, this particular model... It was made by Overland Models in 1988. 300 were made. The original MSRP, and funny enough, on the bottom of this box, it has this price, $277. Currently, these are valued around 500 bucks. They've gone quite rare, especially painted ones. I've seen a painted one go for upwards of seven or $800, which is mind-boggling for um, a flat car. But we're going to go ahead and open this. This one has never been opened. I'm excited to open this, and I hope you all are too. Alright, so let's get to it. Let's take the top off. Get that off, get that out of here. You might notice I'm in my photo booth again this time with a black um, backdrop. So here we go. So, it comes with decals. These are Merchant's Dispatch tank trailer car detail, decals. And uh, this is a really, really interesting car. You'll see in a second just how interesting it is. So let's remove the foam. Let me prep the camera for the big, uh, the big reveal. Zoom out. So now it's time to take the foam off. I'm excited. And there we have it. The Merchant's Dispatch tank car. Uh, if you can tell, this has never been unwrapped. This one truly has never been unwrapped. Um, the friend that sold this to me, he had two of them. One that um, was kind of the one he kept on display and the one that he had bought new. This was the one he bought new. Uh, and um, I gave him a good fair price for it. We both were very happy. A um, little bit of a story behind it, but uh, let's get right to it. Let's open this thing up, because I haven't yet, and I've had it now for at least six months. So I'm going to pull this off and carefully remove it. So here it is. Merchant's Dispatch. Let's unwrap it. You can always tell when plastic's a little older, when uh, it's all bunched together and kind of tight. It's been in the same position for, you know, 30 plus years. So I'm going to remove these very carefully. They've lost their stickiness. Or at least in theory have. Feels pretty sticky to me. And we are back. I've unwrapped it, and you're looking at it for the first time. This is one really, really, really cool car. Because it's not just the car. It's these trailers. Which come off, and there you go. Those would have been loaded on separately by a truck and uh, I'll show you some really really neat features of this car as we get further into this so the car is obviously out now it's time to show you why this is one of the most expensive brass freight cars I can imagine um, and why it's one of my favorites and why it's one that I saw it for myself for a number of years until I found the right one and this was the right one. Um, so the first thing we got to do, 
So we gotta remove these trailers. Uh, if you notice, I, I did put on gloves, trying to keep this model as clean as possible. I'll actually go ahead, you know what, we'll move those out of the way entirely. So you'll notice there's a styrofoam block there. You might think it's just to, you know, protect something. Well, it turns out, I'm going to grab this with my fingers. It turns out, when you do that, I'm going to hold this and you go like this. You can simply slide that just a little bit. And now, whoop, I'll slide it a little more very carefully. Now, this mechanism can spin. And the reason it spins is because that's where a truck driver with his milk car would come up on a platform about the same height and uh, deliver it on like that. And then it would be spun back as such. And this whole mechanism would lock. You can see it went down there on the front. Now when you turn it, it gets blocked. This is one of the neatest cars I can think of. Certainly the most interesting milk car. Um, I have a few milk cars. Most of them are just basically box cars or, or express reefers. This is so, so different. Um, and uh, just a really, really neat history. I'm going to try to show a few more features of the car, although I think I showed you really what this car is all about. This whole mechanism assembly is one of the one of the coolest features of any brass car, brass engine. This is this is really cool. Uh, again, I had wanted one of these for myself for years, and it was it took me a while to find. They don't come up. I'm very happy I waited for this car though. Let's take a quick peek at the underbody. Carefully put it over. So the model was built by MSM. MS Models Korea. You can see this is a very finely done car. It rides on express trucks. Which again, another interesting feature of a flat car. And, um, yeah, I just think this is one of the most unique cars I think ever created. I hope you all uh, have enjoyed this unboxing. It really isn't a review because there's nothing to review. Uh, it's accurate. It definitely is. Uh, and even if it's a little bit off, so what? Uh, you know, the, the resin one is not as nice doesn't have any of the features like this um, and uh, there will never be a plastic one made which is a shame I'd love to see a plastic one made very honestly but it will never happen but this is a really 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 cool car I'm a big fan um, just just very unique um, if you get a chance to get one I do highly highly recommend it I'll put the tank car back on and, uh, you know, it's just something different. It adds a little bit of eye appeal to a, to a, you know, express train or a milk train or whatever you're running. Something different. This is so, so different. Um, and, uh, yeah. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm super happy right now because, again, I have never unboxed that. I bought it for myself. It's not for anybody else. If you are in search of one, however, contact me. I might be able to help you find one. But, again, they are extremely rare and can go for as much as $700 painted. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next BrassBasement.com unboxing and or review. Thanks again.